party, folks. You recall how that coyote, Jim Rodney, thinking to discourage the uh, folks of Hard Rock so he could corral all their gold mines, had two of his henchmen steal some Indian ponies and kill a squaw, thus inciting the Cheyennes. And just as John Mills and his daughter Jane and Dave Archer, who holds Jane as full of sweetness as a bee tree, had concluded a meeting for the purpose of sending two of the boys east for a stamp mill, on come them engines, a whoop for shoot and killin' herd of redskins. Rodney and his gang hit the trail for cover, leaving the rest of the folks at the mercy of the savages. Just then, in rides that no fearin' scout Bill Cody, sees the situation and hightails for the soldiers. But before Cody could get back with the cavalry, the Indians had roped Jane, carried her off, leaving her father and Dave Archer and the other hard rockers are uh, fighting for dear life. last one I dropped must be a chief's son. He's only wounded. Well, they'll carry him back to the camp. Oh, Mr. Cody, you saved me from a fate worse than death. Yes, Jane. I saved you for Dave Archer. You wait here until I get one of those ponies. Come on, old friend. Get up. The battle's over. Ask him why the Indians broke the tree. Why, he says the white man broke the treaty by stealing their horses and killing a squaw. Now what? He wants us to go with him to his village and sit in council with his brave. Well, it don't look as if he had much choice in the matter. I guess we'll have to obey his commands. No! No, I can't find out the way out! No!
We've got to get James and those Indians. Hey! Well, Sergeant, Captain Culver sent me out to find you, Mr. Cody, and to inform you the Cheyennes have been completely routed and chased back to the village. <laughs> well, that is good news, isn't it, Jane? It certainly is. He wants you to confer with Chief Thunderbird and learn the cause of the uprising. He also wants you to have a talk with him about a peace treaty. All right, Sergeant. Uh, escort Miss Mills back to Hard Rock, and then report to Captain Culver that I will go at once into a powwow with old Chief Thunderbird. All right, then. Report to Captain Culver. can't make out what's happened to Bree. Look, Rodney, there's someone now. Bree, something's happened. Well, Breed, did you stop the messengers? I think so. I meet some friends, Blackfeet and Trail. I promise I give them some of gold if messengers are stopped. Yes, but did they stop them? I think so, but not know for sure. Long time I wait for Blackfeet come back. Then I see big tribes, Cheyennes, and Warpen. I'm scared they come kill you. So I come back to tell you. Breed, you're a bungler. Trusting those Blackfeet. The only thing we can hope that the messengers didn't get through. Come on inside.
Well, it didn't take those red devils long to decide our fate. No, it sure didn't. Well, I guess it means sun up, a hot fire, and the two of us being burnt at the stake. Yeah. Sure looks as though we're done for. I wonder what's become of Jane. You know, Chief Thunderbird seems friendly. Maybe she's all right. I hope so. chance. Follow me. don't know about this cave, do they? Yes, but they have a superstitious fear of it. Well, thank heavens for that. By the way, Bill, you know what became of Jane after that raid on Hard Rock? Yes, I rescued Jane from the Cheyenne. Started her back to Hard Rock with a troop sergeant and was proceeding under orders to the Cheyenne village when I came upon you boys. But thank God she's safe. Now let's get them ready. We'll have to make a run for it in the morning. Come 
and fight, boys. Wait. Wait till they charge. Then let them have it. 